Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to Real Talk with Michelle. It is another Small Talk Tuesday. Wow, like this has been going really well. Um, Before I get started, as always, I'd like to say thank you to everybody that's been giving me feedback, that's been listening, talking to me on Instagram, in the Facebook group. Also, you can listen to the episodes on YouTube now at the page Real Talk with Michelle. Um, I've been getting a lot of emails and just overall support. Thank you for everybody that's um, given their support by way of Anchor. You can go to anchor.fm backslash real talk with Michelle backslash support. I really do appreciate everything that you guys do. It's really amazing to know and it makes it easier for me to do this work, Um, which I don't even consider work because I get to. I get to talk. (laughs) Thank you so much for um, your continued support. As always, I'll never stop saying it. Might get on your nerves. Might be a long lead in, but I don't care. Thank you so much for everything. Criticisms too. Appreciate those. Um, This week, I have... The energy is, again, very feminine. Still feeling really good. Still feeling... um, loving and caring and nurturing because we were in Virgo season. Um, sometimes I get to pull the cards real time. Sometimes I pull the cards um, a few at a time asking very specific questions about the energy that I feel. Um, and this week, like I said, was still feminine, was still caring, was still loving, nurturing, which meant like caring for our bodies, still being like earthly and that's why I was pulling like a lot of feminine kind of energy cards. Um, we had the Queen of Pentacles, we had the Ace of Cups, and like all of these had to do with like abundance and fertility. I don't know if any of you are wanting that, but a lot of abundant energy around our womb and just the way we take care of ourselves. Um, and it feels really good, I can say, for myself to kind of step into the energy of the card that I pulled this week. But before I do, let's have a quick word from the sponsors. All right, guys, welcome back. So the card that I pulled this week, as far as our energy forecast goes, is the Empress. Love this card. This card just means so much. It's a, it's a really... Uh, the card, the energy for the card is relating, like feeling, understanding, being able to empathize, sympathize with each other. And I feel like it's absolutely just a wonderful feminine energy card. Whenever I pull this card, I typically tend to have it be the one that I leave out of my read for myself just to take the energy with me into the week. I might put other cards away Um, but I always keep this one out. I always put this one by my bed, in my bed, on my bed. I use rose quartz with it. I like to really bring feminine energy to the Empress card. And, um, this ruling planet is Venus. So it's a lot of good, good energy for us. Um, the Empress is regal. It's a a card, like I said, of fertility, Um, It's connection to nature, which is what I was telling you in the beginning. Like, it's been really good Virgo, earth, homing, just loving feminine energy in the world, which is what we need. We've had so much masculine energy come in the way of the way that our our government is dealing with things, the way that the government wants to govern the female body, even just so much of that... um, super heavy deep energy but we were were like this card is just like it always tells me like to connect back to earth because that's where I go back to feel really um grounded and when uh the card comes up in a reading it's um how we can um I'm also paraphrasing as well this is how we can um work better through bringing our Um, our cooperation with our environment. So not only is it like outside things, but like in our home, like how can we make things be more, um, more flowing, like have our energy constantly moving? Like what things do we need to rearrange? What can we make better? And I feel like Virgo always says that too. Virgo is what in our home environment, what in our family life, can we, can we turn around to make harmony? Um, 
wow. And then the next word I look at is harmony. So it's like beauty and harmony as well as like the ability to create both of them because they go together. Like anything that's aesthetically pleasing to me brings harmony to my body. The things that I find beauty in food and the foods that I eat are colorful and wonderful. So that brings harmony to my body because these are natural things that come and grow from the earth. Um, I am <laughs> a bit <laughs> of a vegetarian right now. So um, I have kind of changed the way that I view and look at food and how it correlates to my body. And that has given me a little bit more weight, but I feel more feminine because I have a little bit more weight on my body. I feel voluptuous. I feel pretty. I feel fluffy, but I still know that I can bring that level by still bringing physical movement to my body. So I still get outside. I still run. I still work out. I still do those things that make me feel in harmony with self. Um, but I don't want I, like I said, I don't think of any of it as negative because even when I pull certain cards, like I said, I flip them back upright just to realize how I can reverse any energy that I feel. I can always turn around a sad situation into a happy one, a feeling into a better one. So I always flip my cards upright, but I did pull the Empress reverse. So I definitely want to kind of tell you what it means when the card is reversed when the card, when the Empress card is reversed, it's pretty much um, like a loss of personal power. That's it's going to be written everywhere like that. You're pretty much going to see it anywhere we look up this tarot card reading is personal power, and it's like because we tend to, as women, I hate to say, place other people's emotional feelings above our own. So we tend to say. In the job, well, if the boss is happy, in the relationship, as long as my spouse is happy, in a when you have kids, like as long as my kids are okay. Instead, we really do have to turn that energy around and say, I also need to feel good. So I always flip that back up because I'm like, I have taken care of, I feel womanly because I have taken care of the people around me. But now it's time for me to take care of myself. And I've been selfish of many of the situations where I'm like, I want to work out more. I want to do this. I want to do that. I didn't cook dinner because I was going to do that. And I didn't do other like things that I might have done to make my house run harmoniously. Because if I wasn't happy with self, then nothing else was going to go and take precedence over how I felt emotionally inside of my body. So I think um, this card lends itself to tell you when it's reversed to revert back to self, go back inside of yourself, dig really, really deep and take some introspective uh, moments to yourself, journal, meditate, figure out what it really is that makes you happy to the core. What can you do? What's your life work? What is your work situation? What is your relationship situation? What is your family situation? What things are you giving energy to caring more about than caring about yourself? Whew, that's a lot. But I love this card. I love this card. I love to put rose quartz on top of it. I love to burn and put rose oil on me. I love to do all the things that invite me back to my feminine spirit and energy. Um, so I did pull the Empress card this week. Oh, wow. So, guys, I feel like that's for all of us. And we can use this week to kind of go back into self a little bit. I'm always down to do some introspection. Again, thanks for tuning in to Real Talk with Michelle uh, for another episode of Small Talk Tuesday. Make sure you go rate, review, and subscribe anywhere that you can listen to my podcast. Go into Anchor, click the support button, anchor.fm slash Real Talk with Michelle backslash support. Thanks for everybody that's already supported. Make sure while you're in Anchor, you can leave me a voicemail, say anything that you'd like. I'd love to hear them. They make me so happy. Thanks for all the Instagram support. Um, kind of letting me know that this this thing is kind of working. You like listening. Um, also, you can email me um, at realtalkwithmichelle at gmail.com. And I would love to hear from you that way if you prefer. But again, thanks for listening. And I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.